Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at yet another custom version of Windows 11. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Rectify 11, which aims to kind of resurrect Windows 11 and turn it into what the developers think Windows 11 should have been. If you remember the last Windows 11 version we took a look at, I believe the name was Nexus Lite OS 11, and the goal of Nexus Lite OS 11 was to have a lightweight version of Windows 11. However, if we take a look at the ISO for this version, this is a 6.25 gigabyte ISO. It is significantly larger than the official Windows 11 ISO, so I'm kind of really interested to take a look here and see what this actually is. What does Rectify 11 actually do and how does it look? For this video, I was trying to wait for version 2 to release, however, it's been months and I have not seen version 2 anywhere and I haven't seen any development updates or anything, so we're going to have to take a look at Rectify 11 version 1, and then hopefully when they release version 2, which could be even next year, hopefully we'll be able to make another video on that. But for right now, we're stuck with version 1. Personally, I really like Windows 11, so I don't know what they really could have changed, but, I mean, let's take a look here. Windows 11 is one of my favorite operating systems, so if they changed it back to Windows 10, I don't know how I'm going to really feel about that. But here we can see we have the updated Windows logo with a cooler background, which actually kind of resembles the Windows 11 getting ready screen. Let's go ahead and install now. So this is way more modern. This matches Windows 11's theme with just overall the way that the window is themed, the buttons, everything just matches Windows 11 a lot better and I'm impressed so far. This is very impressive. So let's agree to the terms, and yeah, we can see all the new logos have been added, all the new icons, rather. It, it, this looks amazing. I'm impressed. So let's let this to install, and I even like the little check marks here. That looks so much better than the current Windows installer. I'm gonna let this install, and we'll take a look at it when it's done. All right, and right off the bat here, there was no out-of-box experience that was it went straight in and literally just booted into the desktop so let's go ahead and install vmware tools so we can get the full resolution and the curved windows um, but first impressions obviously they changed it to the left side instead of being centered the taskbar icons um, the cursor is different i'm not really sure how i feel about this new cursor it feels modern but it also feels like it's missing something it feels more like Linux, the cursor. Let's go ahead and restart the machine, and then we'll take a look at the OS. And here we are inside of Rectify 11. So I'm actually interested to see what version of Windows this is. Okay, so this is the first public release of Windows 11, build 22,000.194. So I'm actually, before we do anything, let's just see, okay. I totally forgot that we were taking a look at a custom version of Windows. This is not what I was expecting. But okay, while we're here, let's take a look at this start menu. We can see all the default pinned applications, remote desktop connection, which is modernized. Man, I do like this. Compared to the old logo, this looks very modern, very nice. Wow, okay. Back to this. This looks way more like the Windows 7 start menu than even Windows 11, 10, or 8. Live tiles are just gone. I really like the Windows 11 start menu, but I'm actually impressed so far. So, like I was trying to do, let's go into settings here and go to Windows Update, and yep, Windows Update is disabled. Uh, so that's kind of a disadvantage here, but I guess if you were to update Windows, it would kind of break the theme that we have going on here. Um, let's go back to our taskbar. On the right side, we do have our Action Center, which appears to be a little glitched right now. I saw it for a little bit, then it disappeared. Um, our time also appears to be glitched, but our volume and network bring up the the action center or whatever this is called now with sound, all the regular toggles that we would have in Windows 11. And of course, this is the same as it is in Standard 11. The taskbar is also smaller than it is on Windows 11. So for here's the Rectify 11, and then here is the Windows 11 taskbar. So they do look, yeah, this is more like the Windows 10 taskbar. But hey, I really do like the smaller taskbar. So this task view looks exactly the same as the one in Windows 11. Microsoft Paint cannot be opened. Oh, I think I know what the problem is here. 
back in October when Windows 11 was released, there was a certificate issue. So on November 1st, a lot of built-in Windows apps just would stop working because the certificate expired. And since this is 22,000.194, the apps don't work because the certificate is expired. Or never mind. Paint went ahead and opened up. That was, uh, okay, that, but photos isn't working. So I guess, can we use snipping tool? Okay, yeah, the snipping tool when shift S is broken. Yeah, so this is the issue, like I was saying, where the certificate's expired, it's not gonna work, and we can't fix that because we can't update this version, which is why I was kind of waiting for version two. And that was interesting, the right-click menus, the they are a modernized version of Windows 10s, which, again, I like the new ones, but I like this too. I mean, this is a very nice menu, and I wonder, the taskbar, they brought the old one back. They, they are using start all back, but, wow. I do miss right-clicking on the taskbar and going up to task manager, but I've honestly gotten used to right-clicking on the start menu and then going to task manager. So yeah, this is a very nice um, operating system. Let's take a look at the file explorer because, okay, so this isn't what I thought it would be. I thought they would bring back ribbon UI, but good thing they didn't. They kept the new Windows 11 theme, but they also added the bar with the arrows down here. Not that big of a deal. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like if this line was gone, the line would make it look more seamless, but I do like it. They did keep it the same, except the spacing between items is different than the Windows 11. I think that's an option in like view settings. Yeah, compact view, there we go. I like that a lot better, but compact view is on by default, so let's leave it like that. Okay, so yeah, the calculator is the same one. Actually, this is a Windows 10 calculator. I'm not sure if that shipped with 194 or not, but yeah. So overall, a lot of pre-installed applications here just look like the regular ones. Chromium is pre-installed here. Uh, let's take a look at what version this is. Okay, so this is version 89, developer build, ungoogled Chromium. So I don't see an option to update it, or maybe this is the latest version. I don't know. I don't know that much about the Chromium browser. I'm more Chrome, but yeah. It looks like they actually deleted Edge. Oh no, Edge is still here. Even the old version, I guess. There's two Microsoft Edges, or never mind. Microsoft Edge does not exist on this build. Okay, well. Let's do the one thing that we always do with custom builds, and that is run a malware byte scan. Because right now, I'm really liking Rectify 11, besides the fact that we can't update it. However, what would make it even better is if there were no viruses. So, we are going to go ahead and scan this machine, just do a regular quick scan, and see what malware bytes can find. Now, in my last one with Nexus Lite OS 11, many people commented that the virus detections were false positives. So I'll be doing a little bit more investigating in this video so we can see if these are real viruses or false positives. But overall, I'm impressed. I didn't think that I would like Rectify 11 because I actually like Windows 11 normally, but Rectify 11 brings a different perspective to things. And if I could update it, I would really consider using it as a daily driver as long as this scan comes back secure. So let's take a look at Malwarebytes and hope that this comes back clean. All right, so I installed Malwarebytes, and okay, the system is restarting again. I don't know why it's doing that. I couldn't find Malwarebytes anywhere, so that was a little bit weird. I still don't see Malwarebytes anywhere here. Um, even in Windows Security, it should show up, but I'm not seeing it. This is weird. I'm going to try and run the installer again. Okay, it's restarting again. So maybe we're not going to run a Malwarebytes scan, because I think I might have just broke the operating system. Okay, so an error has occurred and Malwarebytes will not install on your computer. So have they done something that will prevent us from installing Malwarebytes, or what is the deal here? Because I really do want to see, you know, why, why can't I install Malwarebytes? because I do really want to scan this and see, but if we can't scan it, it's not going to install. So yeah, this was Rectify 11. Besides the fact that we can't scan our computer, this could be just a regular Malwarebytes issue. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's a little suspicious. But, but overall, this is a very interesting build. I like it. I'm kind of stuck between this and regular Windows 11 because I really do like regular Windows 11. 
but overall this is a very good build and I would definitely consider installing it on a computer just to kind of use it day to day and see how it really feels. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations. And then again, it's restarting by itself again. I'll see you all in the next one.